Hi, this is Mr. Barch, and uh, if you're here, you have um, probably come here to figure out how this class works and how to uh, navigate it. Um, so here's how it's going to work. We, we typically just start with the web, and uh, you can check my blog, which is right here. Today it says February, Friday, February 25th. This is what we did in class today. Right below it will always be um, like a two-week calendar that's out two weeks in advance, and uh, so you can just kind of make plans and keep track of that. I will also post all these things not only on the websites that we build for every unit, but also on Google Classroom just so you can keep up. Um, and if you lose track, you can always do that. Now, this class is human anatomy and physiology. It's based on, uh, we, we do have a textbook. It's, it's based on Mary Abbs textbook and uh, um, just years of experience of being old and, and teaching this stuff. Uh, generally, what how we break it down into is there'll be like two must-do sections for every chapter or unit that we do. And uh, the must-do sections basically have to do with like parts and terms and processes and relationships. So when you see the symbols that I'm showing you on the screen right now, okay, these are going to be, if you see that symbol on an assignment, it's a must-do assignment. That means you're going to need to know the vocabulary and, and the terms and everything, um, and then how they relate to each other. And as you learn parts and terms and processes and relationships, then um, you're, you're much better prepared to deal with homeostatic mechanisms and how the system or whatever we're studying, the tissue maintains homeostasis. And if you see this little symbol right here, that's what we're, we'll be studying. If you see that symbol, that's homeostasis. That means that that's a should do assignment. It's not a have to, but it will help you and it will obviously increase your understanding of human anatomy. Um, and that translates to probably a higher grade. Uh, the aspire to do things are generally recognized by this symbol right here. Um, they usually have to do with disease, aging, and health. And I know lots of students that really get interested in diseases and, and how those affect certain systems. And in this day and age with coronavirus and, and what we've dealt with with this pandemic, um, that's, that's something that's very interesting to a lot of students. And if you see this, aspire to do assignments or aspire to do ideas or videos that I have you watch um, can also help your grade. But uh, generally, to really understand them, Okay, you, the must do's and the should do's kind of come first because they'll help you understand the background. So when you're talking about a disease and how it affects the systems in the body, you have the requisite vocabulary and, and understanding with that. This class is built on the fact that you are going to make mistakes. And so every, every um, unit, every lesson is based on mastery checks that you can retake and uh, and we provide lots of resources for you to, to go ahead and make mistakes and then correct those mistakes. All right, so our first unit looks like this. It's called our unit zero. It's our homeostasis unit. Um, we've got the objectives stated right here. We have a video for each objective and then we have a mastery check that you'll complete as you do that. You're just gonna pace yourself. Um, there will be times during this class when we get into other units as well, um, like the digestion and nutrition unit where we will stop and you, regardless of where you're at, what unit you're on, um, we will have you stop and probably work together as, on labs and, and, and situations like that as materials um, sometimes don't keep and don't allow us to, um, to basically have a completely self-paced course. But um, I think for the most part that those make for really fun days in the lab. So hopefully it won't, uh, um, hamper your plans too much. We do have an online textbook that you can access that's very helpful. You're, you're in class textbook and you'll have a copy of the textbook with you as well. To keep track of how you're doing, I will give you a template and uh, that, uh, that you can, you'll be able to monitor your progress. And if you pass any of these units with an 80% or better, that, that includes the work averaged in with your tests, you'll get a sticker. And then as we get through each unit, okay, we'll award more stickers and you can always go back. And if you didn't get a sticker for unit seven, because perhaps your score was a little bit low, you can always go back. As long as we have the internet, um, you can go back to chapter seven and, uh, um, and the chapter seven website and go ahead and just fix your scores and actually just, you know, redo the mastery checks and redo the tests. Uh, we might have to schedule some time outside of school if, if need be or during class, but 
it generally works out pretty well where most students um, get the stickers and they progress through and do just quite well. Um, to check how you're doing in class on a day-to-day -day basis, we have, um, not only do we have um, a, a progress board right here, but we've also gamified the class as well. And so you can kind of keep track of your point totals here and see how they contribute to your overall grade. Uh, we have a test column right here, which gets averaged in for an overall score. Um, I know it looks like you can have over 100 percent. You really can't mathematically, but though sometimes it does average out to that, and you'll see that in this column. But the highest grade you'll get in the actual grade book will be 100 percent. And again, these unit these are the first two units of the semester, but you can always go back and fix them. Um, and I will always post every Friday and probably during the middle of the week as well. I'll post a. Um, just a board that will kind of help you make progress. This is our six week progress checker because report cards are coming out and we just wanted to really double check and make sure that everybody had mastered the important lessons and, and um, hopefully gotten each unit up to an 80% or better. Uh, these right here are code names, which will be given to you. I'm just not really comfortable having your name on the internet in my class. So I have a code name place in the classroom where you can go find out what your code name is, and I don't expect you to remember it, but you can review that and it helps you just check where you're at. And uh, if you have a student in my class, you can ask them their code name and, uh, or you can call me, of course, and I'll let you know what it is. But uh, that's how we keep track of things in Mr. Barch's class. And I appreciate you taking the time to do this. If you have any questions, again, right here on my homepage, on the anatomy schedule is uh, my email and my phone number and you are always welcome to contact me and I get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks.